आपल्याला अजून एक वेगळे चेंज करायला लागेल परत चालू This is the complete setup for PC hardware trainer. This PCHT trainer is an educational equipment for the practical and theoretical study of principles and block diagram associated with this modern multimedia technologies. This PC hardware trainer and these components on the chassis are accessible by students spread out on this flat demo panel rack and the trainer incorporates a fault simulator which allows the tutor to introduce faults by using the slider switches these are the slider switches provided on the different panels this will also allow to find the fault, diagnostic and different fault finding methods. This PC trainer can be used to understand troubleshooting of peripherals, to identify various subsystem working in PC system, operation of their functions by user and understanding the dynamics of faults by correlating with various peripherals. Let us see the various components used in this PC trainer one by one. So this is the power supply for this PC trainer. Here motherboard is provided. In this motherboard the processor is here, inside there is a fan, one DDR RAM is provided, here CD or DVD writer is provided, here is the hard disk drive which is mounted from the rear side of this rack panel. This is the fault panel for DVD drive as well as for hard disk drive. This is LCD or LED monitor. The speakers are provided one set of speaker is given. This is keyboard and this is optical mouse. Let us see the function of each panel one by one. These are different fault switches provided on this fault panel for serial or parallel or USB or PS2. 
in this various connectors are provided this connector is parallel port connector the second connector is serial port and these are the connectors for keyboard this connector is for mouse and this is a USB cable all these signals coming from serial cable uh, serial uh, port or parallel port are passing through all these fault switches to the next connector so at the time of experimentation you can create these different faults by keeping them on off position this is the procedure to make the fault in normal condition you should keep all these switches on on position here it is given the switch is at off position it means there is a fault and if switch is at on position it is the normal operation of the PC trainer let us see this is the SMPS panel again in this same the connector of this SMPS panel is connected to this fault panel for SMPS and VGA PC3 again all this power supplies plus 12 volt plus 5 volt 3.3 volt or VRM all these power supplies are passing through these different switches for, for the fault creations this is the output taken from this power supply again to create the different faults with VGA these are different fault switches in this fault red color fault green color blue color and blur image fault these different faults are provided the fourth panel is PC4 panel that is fault panel for CMOS and front panel in this power on off switch is provided to on or off the PC trainer one CMOS reset push button switch is provided this is the CMOS fault switch and the S3 switch it is PC reset this is the rear side of the PC hardware trainer this is the SMPS panel for this SMPS panel it requires single phase AC supply so connect 230 volt AC supply to this SMPS panel one extension board is provided with this trainer so for speaker here is the 230 volt input the second one is input to the SMPS panel and the third input is for VJ monitor this is again hard disk drive and this is the CD drive these are the connections for this CD drive let us see the procedure to make this trainer on first of all slide down this drawer
here is the power on off switch press the switch before power on this PC trainer make sure that all these fault switches on this SMPS panel are at normal position or on on position in same manner these switches should be at on position for this fault panel as well as for this serial or parallel port panel all these switches should be at on position that is the normal operation of this PC trainer after making on this trainer you will get a display on this LCD monitor Ensure that all these LEDs are glowing indicating that the plus 12 volt, 5 volt, 3.3 volt and VRM all these power supplies are present in this panel. Along with this trainer we have supplied this user's guide. In this user's guide, there is an index which, which gives introduction about this PC trainer, understanding CPU supplied with this trainer, then understanding of resources panels which are given on this tabletop rack and this is fault panel for parallel PC1, PC2, PC3, PC4 and PC5. The next chapter is experiments with PC hardware trainer. The specifications for this motherboard are provided on this page. Some motherboard connector details are also provided. The connector pinouts for parallel port as well as serial port or USB. The details of pinouts are provided. Let us see some faults related with this PC trainer. So this is faults on SMPS section. In this table is provided how to create a fault. This is the fault switch number. Then the name of the fault. The third column is symptom. Whichever you are going to observe on the PC trainer. These are the connector pin numbers and voltages on the connector. Like this, this first table is provided for SMPS section. This second table is provided faults on VGA, LCD or LED section. In this also, there is a fault switch numbers, name of the fault and whatever symptom you are getting on this trainer. The CMOS front panel, this PC4, those faults are provided in this table. And this is procedure how to make CMOS error fault. And again how to restore the CMOS error fault. Some BIP codes are also provided with this trainer. The table is provided. So let us see the procedure how to make different faults
let us see the procedure to make the various faults with this different sections in PC hardware trainer. First of all we will make the faults in PS2 keyboard. I refer this table. In this false switch number is given F23, 24 and 25. The fault name is data plus 5 hold and clock and the symptom is in all these faults the keyboard will stop its operation. So for this fault let us make the fault on this PC1 panel. So identify the PS2 keyboard fault section. So here F23, 24 and 25 these three switches are provided. So first of all make this F23 switch at off position means fault is created. Now on this keyboard just check that this keyboard is not operating by observing on this word document. Again restore this fault by keeping it at on position. Now again check the keyboard is working properly. You can observe on this word document that is the keyboard is working. So likewise you can make the another fault that is by making this F25 switch at off position. Again by pressing this keyboard you will not getting any response on this word document. Now restore the fault by keeping the switch at on position. Now check the keyboard is working properly. You can make